Please try and sit still. The class is still going on. If you're moving, it's going to disrupt the class. Does anyone have a question? You know, the secret of really uh, making this meditation work for you is the ability to transform it into practical living. That we do live here on the earth. We have responsibilities to take care of every day, you know, be it family, be it jobs, businesses, financial things, friendships, social things. And all of that, you know, gives uh, each and every one of us an opportunity to act in the world. And by acting in the world, we bring whatever level of consciousness exists inside ourselves to the world. If our hearts are open, then we bring love, we bring compassion, we bring patience, we begin bring forgiveness. And all of that, you know, is just relevant because it shows how much we've grown inside and how close we are to truly becoming one with a higher force of energy in the universe. So the practical state of living is absolutely essential. People take it for granted, they get angry at it, it's why me and why am I going through this? And why are people in my life making me crazy? And why are things so difficult? You know, and you can reverse that. Say things are difficult, but I can grow to be able to simplify things. I can grow to be able to, you know, look out at the world and see the beauty of life instead of endlessly seeing the negativity of life. And all of that is relevant because, you know, we live on the earth. There's got to be a reason why we were born here, other than just making money and producing a new generation of people that make money and you know, it goes on endlessly. You know, it's an endless merry-go-round of almost insanity. There has to be a reason why we can step off that merry-go-round. And the only reason I've found in my life is taking, you know, spirit taking Shakti energy, the energy of God, that fountainhead of energy that has no end to it and making it practical in one's life. I mean, they write all over the place, God is love and it's really true. I mean, they write it in so many places, we take it for granted, but it's really true. That kind of love, that kind of compassion has to flow through a human being. And that has to give us a reason and a purpose to be alive here other than just you know, making money, <laughs> being involved, the soap opera, the grand soap opera of life, money, relationships, friendship, you know. So there has to be a higher purpose to all of this and a reason why we're born here. And I honestly profoundly believe the reason we're born here is to work out karma. And you don't work out karma unless your heart is open and you truly learn how to live here, you know, with joy, with love, with, you know, even more important, with forgiveness for all the nonsense that goes on in the world, all the insanity that goes on in this world. And that elevates our consciousness to a completely different level. And it really enables us to get off the merry-go-round of karma, you know, that keeps spinning endlessly until people grow up and wake up and begin to realize their purpose for living in this world. Love, happiness. Does anyone have a question? And it starts with each and every one of us. It doesn't start out there. It starts inside each and every human being who has and is born with the tools to make this possible. They just have to learn how to do it 
and get the training and time invested to what? Becoming a human being. <laughs> We're pointing, supposed to be human beings. Well, the truth of the matter is we have to learn how to become human beings. And we're born on the earth to learn that. The development of a chakra system makes it possible to learn what I'm talking about. Does anyone have a question? There we go. I just have a you know an announcement to make. You know, I've been working to post online. Uh, we call them blogs, but now we've changed it to posts. And uh, you know, all of these different things that I write. And you know, you can go to my website. You can read these things. You know, starting next weekend, there's going to be a whole series of them based on tantra. Now, tantra is an intriguing subject to everyone because. It involves, you know, it really involves, you know, sexual energy and how to use sexual energy consciously so that one can have a spiritual life. And, you know, I've, I've already you know, sent one to the gentleman who's posting all these things to me. And I found a whole series of them that need to be edited, but I'm going to probably week after week put, you know, uh, writings from that series on my website. They're going to be short. They're not going to be long books. They're going to be short. And one of the things I realized is, you know, if you want to copy and paste these things and send them to friends of yours, I mean, I don't have any copyright on them. I'm not going to put a copyright on them. They're really available to anybody who truly would be interested in learning about the kind of these kind of things that I write about. So you could go to my website, you can copy and paste anything on the website. And if you know people who might be interested, you can send it to them. I mean, God knows, you know, it might save somebody's life. It might help somebody to find a deeper meaning to what their life is all about. <clears throat> so starting this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, depending on when he posts them, uh, we're going to start with a whole series of of uh, short articles about Tantra. And as I say, Tantra interests many people, you know, mostly because it has to do with sexuality and the use of sexual energy to develop a spiritual point. <clears throat> Does anyone have a question they would like to ask? Okay, there'll be a class again on Thursday. And as I always end these classes, you know, I just have such a deep, grateful gratitude for people that show up in these classes, you know, that work as hard as they do in this hour that we set aside for these classes. You know, because every one of you is helping me to grow and every one of you in your own way is becoming like a teacher for me, that it really is helping me to grow in my life. So God bless you all. And thank you. And I'm looking forward to Thursday, and I hope you all have time to attend. And uh, have a wonderful evening. And everybody in Israel, enjoy your holidays. One after the other. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Bye.